Hello and welcome to another episode of DanCast FanCast. I'm Dan, I've got my Superman shirt on, and today I'll be fancasting Reign of the Superman. I want to start out by saying that this video has been long in the making. Earlier this week when I intended to post, my laptop crashed and I had to buy a new computer. So here we are, and I want to immediately announce last week's giveaway winner. Last week's giveaway was Birds of Prey The Complete Series, which includes the DCAU web series Gotham Girls. And last week's giveaway winner is Victoria Love. Email me at dancastfancast at yahoo.com and send me your shipping address listing your winning giveaway. This week's themed giveaway is a double featured digital copy of both Death of Superman and the direct sequel Reign of the Superman. Stay tuned until the end of this video and I'll announce the details of how to enter. Each week I do a themed giveaway so remember to subscribe and comment for your chance to win. US addresses only please. The Death of Superman tells the story of Superman dying at the hands of Doomsday, which we witnessed in live action in the DCEU. Zack Snyder gave us the Death of Superman in an adaptation of the comic title of the same name, as well as The Dark Knight Returns in the feature film Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Okay, so the characters I'll be fan casting are John Henry Irons, Steel, at the top right corner, Connell's Superboy at the top left corner, Hank Henshaw Cyborg Superman at the bottom, and the Eradicator. Following the death of Superman in BVS, in Justice League, we saw his return. And if this movie were made into live action, it has the potential to fit seamlessly between BVS and Justice League. If only we would have seen papers address the presence of a new vigilante in the form of this character during Superman's absence. And that character is John Henry Irons, or the more literal Man of Steel. For Steel, I have fan cast Morris Chestnut. Morris is not only a fine actor, but also he's physically fit for the role. The character of Steel is kind of a combination of Batman and Superman, because although he wears a Superman symbol, he's merely a man who uses high-tech gear and a special tactical suit to fight crime in honor of his fallen hero. Stay tuned later this week for a special Steel fan cast. Next up is Connell Superboy, who unlike Bizarro is the successful clone of Superman created by Lex Luthor. Not to be confused with young Clark Kent, who was portrayed by Dylan Sprayberry in Man of Steel. However, he's grown up still resembling a young Henry Cavill, which if you've seen my Legion of Superhero fan cast, I have also included Dylan as a young Clark, which you can check out now or after this video if you haven't already. Hank Henshaw became Cyborg Superman who resembles Superman the most, and the actor who resembles Henry Cavill the most is fan favorite Matt Bomer. Considering his New 52 design, I feel the character might as well have been modeled after the actor, as you can see in this side by side. For the Eradicator, I'm reminded of a Schwarzenegger-esque Terminator in both name and appearance. For the Eradicator, I chose longtime soap opera actor Aiden Turner, who has a very hard look and muscular chiseled jaw. Remember to stay tuned later in the week and I'll announce this week's giveaway winner. And finally, to enter this week's themed giveaway and in honor of Black History Month, let me know in the comment section down below who your favorite black DC comic superhero is. All right, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below who your top choices are for your favorite characters, or if I missed any. And as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for your ticket to the next show and for your chance to enter a themed giveaway for each episode of DanCast's FanCast, U.S. mailing addresses only.